Okay guys, in the last video we learned how to differentiate sine, cos and tan. In this video we want to think about something a little bit more advanced. What happens if we were to differentiate a function like this? y equals sine of x squared. In other words, what have we got here? We've got one function, which is the x squared function, which is inside of the trigonometric function, inside the sine. So I'm going to label this. This is like the function on the inside. So this is the inside function, the x squared. And this is the function on the outside, which is the sine function. Okay? Well, if you want to differentiate this, then what we've got to do first, we've got to differentiate the function on the outside. So sine differentiates to give cos. So we're going to get cos of x squared. All right, so that's that. And then we've got to differentiate the function on the inside. So we differentiate x squared. That gives us 2x. And we multiply through by that 2x. Okay, so in other words, the function on the outside, the sine, differentiates to give the cos. And then the function on the inside, the x squared, gets differentiated to give 2x. And we multiply those two together. This is actually... A chain rule, right? This is a chain rule that we learned from the previous chapter. Okay, let's try another couple of examples. So let's say we have got a y is equal to cosine 3x plus 2. Okay, if we were to differentiate this, then we differentiate the function on the outside, the cosine, and that's going to give us minus sine 3x plus 2. Okay, and then we differentiate the function on the inside, the 3x plus 2, and that gives us 3, so we multiply through by 3. So our answer is minus 3 sine 3x plus 2. Let's try another one. We've got y is equal to tan, let's say 5x minus x squared. If we were to differentiate this, then the function on the outside, the big function, tan, gets uh, differentiated to become sec squared. So we get sec squared 5x minus x squared. And then we differentiate the function on the inside, right? This thing here, we differentiate that. And that gives us 5 minus 2x. And so we multiply through by 5 minus 2x. Okay, let's try a couple more. Let's say we got y is equal to cosine of, let's make it very hard here, sine x, right? That's really tricky. But the same principle still applies. We're going to start by differentiating the big function, right? This thing here. So I'll differentiate that, the cosine. And if I differentiate the cosine, that's going to give me minus sine. So I will get minus sine of sine x. Okay. And then what do I do? Well, I differentiate the function that's on the inside. I differentiate this thing here. If I differentiate sine x, I get cos x, so I multiply through by cos x. So this thing here is cos x times by sine of sine x. Okay, so guys, the general idea is I differentiate the function on the outside, okay, and then I differentiate the function on the inside and multiply through. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you again next time.